Researchers at Duke University may have finally found the secret to fighting cancer. Believe it or not, the deadly polio virus may be the key. By injecting a modified version of polio into two patients with brain tumors, a doctor has successfully eliminated their tumors without infecting them with polio. Jose, I don't really need to explain to you why this is exciting. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. We might finally be understanding the way cancer works, how it can be stopped. Probably, if you ask somebody, this would probably have been the last way that they thought that they could eradicate uh, the cancer cells within someone's body. But what, what polio does is it, it breaks down the cancer's shield against the human uh, immune system because, you know, your immune system cannot fight. They have a shield against it, and polio takes it out. And what's cool is if you've had that polio vaccine, which almost everyone has, you won't be infected with polio, and you're good. It's a biohack. Biohack. It's amazing. I think it's really cool that um, we are seeing an effort by the medical community to find, I, I will say, a natural way to cure these diseases because they're finding something that is natural, right. that occurs in, in nature, studying, figuring out the properties that we need. We already do it in food. We do GMO corn and we do the same things. We find properties from different um, viruses that deliver certain uh, sections of the genome to the plant. So we are doing the same thing for a very worthy cause that is cancer. And it's fo it follows this, this trend of figuring out natural ways to deal with this disease. Although recent studies from last year said cancer is as old as multicellular life. It's uh -huh. part of, of our life. The, the organisms that have cells that divide and multiply, they will have cancer. And pro most likely we'll never be able to eradicate all cancer because it's part of nature. But it's good that we are not feeding big pharma and their big programs of drugs that almost kill the, the patients to see if they can survive to then heal after killing the cancer, which is profitable for them, but not necessarily the best way to go. But now is the standard, the, the standard procedure. Yeah, and, it, and it, you, know, you mentioned the food thing. And, and that brings up another question because we just learned not too long ago that our biggest food, all the food that we eat basically, in, is basically could be linked to the cause of all the cancer that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, given this whole, the, the whole scandal with Roundup. Roundup. And, and we're, we're learning that that's causing autism, cancer, all sorts food of terrible additives. things. All the food additives that we put in food, they cause cancer. So Exactly, so it, you're kind of thinking now like, wow, we don't have a choice but to figure out this whole cancer thing because you know they say that uh, necessity is the mother of all invention yeah. and the rising number of uh, cancer patients, is, it's going off the charts and we need to But at the same time, it's. It's hard to say that we have more cancer now than we had in the past. We just are better at, at detecting. Uh, detecting the cancer, but also the same medical advancements that have made people live longer because we figured out to prevent heart disease is allowing people to live 20 years more and then starting to see these diseases that maybe they will have anyway, but they die earlier. The life expectancy was shorter. We managed to give a, a longer life expectancy, and now we're seeing this cancer. Regardless of that, I think that we need to work on cures that are sustainable, and that, like you said, it's only one dose. Only one dose of this delivery uh, and, the, and this drug could cure someone, which is, which is an improvement from years of treatment, sometimes expensive treatment. Sometimes that, fatal treatment. You know, fatal treatment that puts families in a dire necessity of, of, of money to cover these expenses. They, they can't, chemotherapy, it throws you off. You, yeah. A lot of people can't go to work. They, they lose money because of that. And also, um, the drug companies, Big Pharma, they are very good at keeping their drugs on their patents so they cannot be used as generic drugs. So I think this is a great step forward. Great, and of course, we want to we want to know what you guys think. Uh, let us know. Could this be the future, possibly, of a, tr a cancer treatment? Let us know by commenting, and of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Live TV for more.